Uh, hi, so here's a part two. And here I will show you how to use chromatic scales and slide notes in LMMS. Yay! Now, as usual, you will import a random MIDI on which cover you want to do. And remember, LMMS doesn't support other than MIDI files. So, in using chromatic scales, it's actually just pretty easy. You just need to use this plugin, Ninjas 2. So, here I will give an example of how to use it. Number one, get a chromatic scale. Number two, you just slice them. Number three, you're done. But here's the catch. Not all chromatics are like this. You need to, like, slice them manually, which sucks. An example of this chromatic created by this cool person. Number one, count out the samples. Number two, you have to slice them. And number three, the annoying part is to adjust them manually. Careful, you might rage. And then you have it. LMMS doesn't support MP3 files for chromatic scales nor instrumentals. Remember that. No, this part is not fucking easy. It's fucking painful. So to do this, you need a plugin called DSKSF2. And I will use this work in progress MIDI thingy. Credits to this man, by the way. So here, I'm just adding slides to make it more accurate to the song. Well, you guys know I already did the cover, but it was stiff as hell. And all you gotta do is just import the vestige thingy and then add in the plugin, choose which sound file you wanna use, and then boom. I usually play around with it. Always turn on mono mode and turn off a trigger, I dare you. There you have it. Also, turn this thing into 1 per 192 because it'll slide the whole MIDI track and it will sound weird. And then you just add the slides and done. That's it for this tutorial. But here's another thing. Unlike FL Studio, you have to use sound font files in order to use slide notes. And these two plugins are not cooperative. Okay, for real, that's it. I'll make another tutorial on how to make chromatic scales and sound fonts in the next tutorial. Bye, and I hope this is helpful.